Overcoming the negative conversation, that inner dialogue that's going on all the time, all the time, even when you don't want it to be there. You can't stop yourself right now from thinking. You can't do it. It's going on. And so learning how to empower yourself, part of doing that is standing up to yourself. You've got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up. You've got to do this. I was going to give a presentation and this voice inside of me saying, you can't do this. You don't have everything it takes. I said, shut up. I am behind on my bills and you're telling me what I can't do. I have got to do it. No matter what you're going through in your life, whether it's a large difficulty or a small setback, you want to ask yourself, how can I use what I'm going through as fuel for my growth? You want to ask yourself, what is the gorgeous opportunity hidden inside this so-called problem? I mean, and if you look at the mass of humanity, they really train their brains to focus on problems right? They hit a wall and they just, because of their belief system, they don't know it because most people are not really that aware of their belief systems. So they blame it on the world. They blame it on the supplier. They blame it on the teammate. They blame it on their husband or wife. They blame it on their childhood. You want to train your brain to see the treasure within the lead. The fact that human beings our strongest drive is the need to stay consistent with how we define ourselves. If your self-definition is, uh, I'm a situation where I'm kind of, uh, what was the word he used? Uh, uh, shy. Shy. Th then you're going to find a way to get to a place where you kind of cower back. Right. The fastest thing you could do to change your experience would be to, to create a new little thing, a simple thing like erase. The minute you go, I'm shy, you go erase. When you keep calling yourself shy, you believe it. You go, Tony, I've always been shy up until this moment. Do something that's completely outside what you would normally do. Something, become somebody else. Decide who's the most playful, passionate, outrageous, fun person you know and behave like them for two or three days. Just push yourself to behave like that. And here's what's happened. It'll be shocking, it'll be weird, it'll be different, you'll feel uncomfortable. But after a while, you'll get reinforced. Talk nicely to yourself. Treat yourself and say to yourself what you would say to somebody else to encourage them. That's what I started to do. And the next week had a big game against the Cardinals. And it was, in my opinion, in 15 years in the NFL, the best and greatest football game I've ever played. And I think it was, it was because I truly told myself, you can do this. You know how to play this game. You belong in this game. And I've had to use that to do live. Um, I had to use it to do Fox because I wasn't so sure I could be a sports commentator. I'm as scared and as fearful as anybody else to tackle something new. But I've learned that sometimes I got to get over the fear of not doing it because I'm scared instead of not doing it because I can't do it. I remember being 25 years old, scared to death of people. 29 years old, started my speaking career terrified of the people I had to go to, didn't call on anybody for a year because I was literally frozen in fear. And one day somebody said something to me, do you need, you need to handle your self-confidence issue. So I went and bought a suit and I didn't feel any better. I went and bought a car, didn't feel any better about myself. I mean, I felt a little better for a second. Look, self-confidence is the only outfit you can't buy. This is an inside job. You got to study, you got to learn, you got to practice, and you have to. You have to do the hard things. Self-confidence comes from repeating experiences that are difficult. It's not on sale. It's not at Bloomingdale's, Macy's, it's not at Toyota, it's not on the radio. Dude, it's an inside job. I can't help you with it. The only thing I know for sure that will change your sense of self is the actions you take getting in front of other people. Other people, people you don't know, people you're scared to talk to. So your problem isn't doubt, your problem is courage. Doubt is going to be there. 
But doubt gets out of the way when you express courage. Do the thing and you will have the power, right? Whatever it is that you're deciding that you wanna do with yourself, that you're doubting your ability on, just do it. Fuck it up completely. Success is not doing the right thing and it definitely isn't doing the right thing the first time. Success is having the courage to move in the direction of your dreams. Move in the direction that your heart is taking you. That is what success is as you are progressively realizing that thing. Is a new book coming up and the title says, Fuck Fear. Yeah, yeah, fuck fear. Because we are born to be happy, strong, and healthy. Not in distance, not alienated, not in stress, biological, cell, destructive, comfort zone behavior. Confidence and belief, not in the books. No, yeah, connecting within myself past my fear, into the unknown, is where I shoot. And with Mount Everest, and from there, it was very joyous to go North Coal, up and down, up and down like 10 times, going into the death zone. In my shorts. The willingness to walk into the unknown without a guarantee, that's half of the equation. The other half of the equation is giving the other person radical permission to have their first response to. Men think that just because they're taking a risk, women owe it to them to be polite or accepting, and they don't. Yeah, women don't exactly. sign a contract. So giving a woman her first permission to have whatever response she wants to have, and at the same time being willing to walk into the unknown, creates magic. And when someone is walking their path in life, they have power, they have personal power. It shows up in how they arrive. It's nonverbal. If you want to use a sloppy term, it's energetic. Mm -hmm. It's also my voice and the way I carry myself. So, uh, I carry myself like someone who has a mission and a destiny that I know where I'm going. I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibilities. Um, I want to represent magic, right? That you're in a universe and two plus two equals four. Mm -hmm. Two plus two only equals four if you accept that two plus two equals four. Two plus two is going to be what I want it to be, mm -hmm. you know? And there's a, there's a, like there's a, there's a, a redemptive power that making a choice has. You know, rather than feeling like you're at a effect to all the things that are happening, make a choice. Like you just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. It's like it's water. It wants to it wants to move and go around stuff. You know, I can create whatever I want to create. If I can put, put my head on it right, study it, learn the patterns, and I feel very strongly that we are who we choose to be. I'm unbelievable inside the pitch. This is why the people have so much interesting on me. Are you the best footballer in the world right now? I think so, yes. In my mind, I'm always the best. I don't care what the people are thinking, what they say. In my mind, not just this year, but always, I'm always the best. I'm always going to say that because we, I think we have to thinking we are the best in our, our, our area. So in my area, I think I'm the best. Is there anything that Lionel Messi is better than you at? It's opinions. I respect the opinions. Maybe in your opinion, Messi is better than me, but in my mind, I'm better than him. So it's simple. I'm 
never doubt in myself. I go into it knowing I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers I've ever lived. You know, not even in a cocky way. I just feel like I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers that ever walked the face of the earth. You know, and that's just how I am. Because I feel I am. I am one of the baddest motherfuckers that ever walked the face of the earth. That's just a fact. Where does self-confidence come from? It's something that we seem to know implicitly whenever we see it, right? It's a guy that can walk into any room in the entire world and no matter who's in there, he feels comfortable. Or a woman who can walk up to a total stranger and start conversation effortlessly. Or maybe just someone that you might have met who doesn't seem to have the hesitation, the self-doubt that plague so many people. But the question remains, where does this self-confidence come from? The answer is that it comes from raising your self-esteem. Your self-esteem is your reputation with yourself. It is what you think about you. And that is why compliments cannot build your self-esteem. That is what other people think about you. I just recently found my confidence, right? This year is the first year that I had this like boost of confidence. Um, and it's because, you know, like this idea of what cool is, is like burned into our brain. Mm -hmm. And I just don't think it's, I just, I, you know, I don't think that, I'm starting to like open up to so many more things to see how many things are just like a facade and, and being cool is a total facade, you know? So I, even, even celebrity wise, like all those people I thought were like these awesome people you meet them and they're so uncharismatic it's so lame and so corny and so uncool and like, so sad. you know what i mean it's so sad like these are the people that are like making us feel bad about our bodies or our face or our hair or lifestyle or our choices like ugh, just spare me man i'm so over it so i you know what man i i say take it on stride shrug it off the cool fall off quicker than, like those they let them peak man let them peak that's that's what i say let them peak There is this higher force above and here on this planet that is going to help us to live a prosperous life, to be happy, to be healthy, to be joyful, to have that peace in if we truly respect and appreciate ourselves and others in that process as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'd love to know what did you think of this video? What was the single biggest takeaway that you're going to apply immediately to your life or your business to bring more of that self-confidence in? Leave it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I believe in you. I hope you continue to believe in yourself and whatever your one word is. Much love. I'll see you soon. If you tell yourself a story long enough, you start to believe it. Once you believe it, you act like it. I have okay. tussled with a whale out of handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. Now you know I'm bad. Only last week I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean I make medicine sick. <laughs> the fundamental key to success it can take between 18 and 254 days of taking action for a new habit to stick. I've created a new course called 254 Confidence where every single day for 254 days I will be sending you a video between 30 seconds and 5 minutes long that you start your morning with around making you feel confident. It's absolutely free. Check out the link in the description below to get access.